So 13 tackles, two interceptions. Do you think you're ASC Defensive Player of the Week? Not worried about it. <laughs> we just heard that you got the game ball. What that mean to you today? I mean, it means a lot, but the biggest thing is we got the win, so that's that's what means the most. Um, you know, anytime we can come into here in Pittsburgh and come away with a win to start off our divisional matchups um, is huge for us. Joe Morrow said that you hate to have to play against you. The way you're playing zone defense is down on the way, you know, you're just kind of appearing out of nowhere and, and picking the ball off. I mean, you take big pride in what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I've always taken pride in um, – Basically, just run to the ball, um, and I've, I'm a firm believer that good things happen to those that actually run to the ball each and every play. Um, you know, it might not come; in, it might come in spurts. It might it might not come periodically. You never know. But um, usually, you're going to be in position to help. On say your teammate gets a fumble, you're going to be able to help recover that, or just run like you know on the, my first interception today when Sam uh, made a play on Ben, and I was just running, turning, run to the ball, and that's it, where it happened to, to be. So. Um, like I said, I'm just a firm believer in the good things happen to those that run to the ball. So what happened on your second interception? It looked like uh, he didn't, you know, it looked like you wanted to cut it or what uh, was going on there? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know <laughs> about that one. Um, you know, he was he was scrambling, so I was going to go um, track him down and tackle him, and he ended up just throwing it, and I didn't realize who he was throwing it behind, but um, Vaughn, Vaughn got after me a little bit. That He was hoping that would be his interception on that one. <laughs> It seems like we've been saying it every game, Logan, but the defensive front, the, you know, the yeah. defensive line has been disruptive every single game. Mm -hmm. How has that made your job easier? I mean, I, I don't even know if I can put it into words. Um, seriously, um, our D-line is, is – is, they come together like – it's like night and day compete compared to last year. They're just so much better up front, and um, they trust each other. They trust what they're doing. They trust the coaches. We all do, um, and that's that's why you're seeing the results we we're doing. Um, you know, obviously we got to continue to do that, but um, so far so good. So, well, ten, ten picks in college, five already in the NFL, which is pretty remarkable for a linebacker. Is that reading the quarterback? Is that film study? How do you do that? Um, you know, I. I, I credit a lot of that to not really playing linebacker until I got to the college level, truthfully. Um, you know, I was, I was a slot receiver. I was a defensive back, so I was always, you know, I kind of um, developed my, my ball skills, you know, as I was growing up. And, um, and, then, and then back to the whole thing about running to the ball. If you're always running to the ball, you're always going to have a chance to make plays on the ball. Maybe whether that's trying to get a strip or someone else strips it and you're able to fall on it and recover it. Um, that's just one thing I've always prided myself on. And, I will continue to do so. Your red zone defense has been good all year, and today, in other case, you know, holding good field goals, stop them on downs, yeah, and three red zone possessions. Uh, what's what's the secret? What have you guys been doing really well in the red zone? Do you think? Uh, I mean, every time we're down in there, we always tell we. All, I'm always in the huddle. We're always saying, "Bow up, bow up." We got our backs against the wall. The only thing to do is hold them to a field goal. I mean, that's just what we. That's just what we preach and. Um, when you got guys that always buy into that, you know, obviously you're going to give up touchdowns. It's the NFL. You know, they make plays. They get paid to make plays too. Um, but when you have that mentality, um, it's contagious, and that's guys just feed off of it. Well, you guys have talked a lot about the good vibes you guys have in the locker room all throughout camp and the preseason, and and done, and you win the opener. But did you coming here, winning like this here? Do you feel like that gives a different sense of belief that you guys have as players have? in what everyone in the organization is doing now? You know, I don't know if I would say it's a different sense of belief. It was just finally coming together and actually getting that win that we needed. Um, you know, we always believed in each other with the, the team that we have right now that we could do something like this. It was just a matter of putting it together um, and getting a win on a, in a hostile environment in Pittsburgh um, against a great team. Um, so it was, it's big for us. So Burrow said that uh, he would hate to play you. Would you hate to play Burrow? I mean, yeah. Why? <laughs> Because he's one of the one of the best quarterbacks in this league, so when you got a guy like that on your team, you know you're you're thankful for it. So, how, how does this win feel different from maybe last year's win against Pittsburgh? How much different? Yes, if, if any. I think. I mean, last year I think it was towards the end of the year, and we were already kind of out of the playoff race. So this one's we're you know we're starting the season off on a good note, I think, um, and really carrying off from that win last year. Um, which is big for us. So this is a great start for us. In what way do you think you're carrying off that win? <coughs> what way, like from this yeah, one? Yeah, explain that. You said you're carrying on, you know, it's kind of a continuation to some degree. What, yeah, I mean, we just got to believe that we can beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, they're, they're, they're a historically great organization. Um, so anytime you can 
come away with a win against them is huge, especially in a divisional matchup. Lou seems to be coming up with a lot of different ways to bring pressure. How much do you like the way he's kind of changing things up this year and really focusing on that being the focal part of your defense? Yeah, I mean, I, I trust him wholeheartedly. You know, he's going to do whatever he has to do to get the job done, and we trust him, and that's why um, I think that we're playing at a high level on defense. There's always things we can clean up and do better, but, um, you know, we've got guys that are that have bought in, bought into what he's doing, what he's preaching, and, um, you know, we got a good challenge next week against Jacksonville. Was there, a little, was, there, was there a little big switch there, that fourth and ten at the 11 when they threw the swing pass? Did you guys, did you show blitz and back out? or I mean, just like towards, not play towards the end of the game? Yeah. No, no, we were we were we were in coverage. We were playing uh, cover two. So Najee Harris, for the third straight week, you shut down a running back in a running game that's pretty stout, and they ended up making him a receiver. I mean, they threw him the ball a gazillion times, mm -hmm. to try to get him the ball in space. What what is it? I mean, that, they're flinching a little bit when they do that. What, what what did you guys think when they started that attack, that type of approach with him? Just get him down. I mean, he's he's a hard player to tackle. Seriously, he's he's a big back. Um, and so you just got it. The biggest thing is just trying to wrap him up and get him down as quick as we can. Um, you know, they're just throwing on intermediate routes, and we just got to rally and tackle and get out the field. All right, thanks, Logan. Thank you, guys. Thank you.